Hey cheaters, here's a quick example on how to build a product description generator using a custom Riku.ai prompt that I just built myself. And you can see here, the neat thing is you can train your own prompts in Riku.ai by just giving it a few examples of inputs and outputs. Then you can immediately use that in any automation very quickly. So all you have to do is hover over the name, click add to cheat, we're going to save variable go back to the website layer. We can hover over anything now and click Add to Cheat. Scroll down and click Riku.ai Generator. Now when you click this no-code module, it'll open up a parameter menu on the right-hand side. You want to fill in your name under Account Holder Name. For your API key, go to Manage Account in Riku.ai. Copy your API key and paste it in here. For the prompt ID, Go to your prompts when you save this, click Use and Copy Prompt ID. Under Input 1, because this prompt actually has one input, we're going to select the variable that we just saved. Next, we're going to hover over anything on the page and click Scrape to G Sheets. So we want to collect all these outputs. So let's go to a new Google Sheet, copy the URL, paste it in here. 60 is kind of a long delay, I'm going to make that 6, and let's select the Riku.ai output in the sheet values. Okay. Now, in the prompt, we actually didn't even have anything about pencil, so this is kind of cool. Let's see what happens. And here you go. See, a sturdy break resent. That's pretty cool. Gives you a description of a pencil. We can run it again to get a different description, actually. Hardware. Yeah, see? Completely different description than the one before. Let's just do one more. <laughs> these are the best pens. I like this one. Okay. So, as you can see in the output, it also sends these to Google Sheets. So, now you can uh, send unlimited data to Google Sheets without using Zapier tasks. Um, and this is a very quick, no code way to generate uh, Riku.ai prompts dynamically in automations. I'm going to save this now. So this is actually an automation now that you can run on any product page once you built it. So let's just go to a random product and try it out. Um, back to school, I like back to school. Maybe it's got a backpack or something. Shoes. Now we open up cheat layer again, and the page loads. I'm gonna click edit just to, just so that we can see the output down here, and let's run it again. And there you go. So these chisel up dry erase markers. See, so you can see it works on any product. Um, once we've built the automation, you can scale this up. Uh, you can even schedule it using our scheduler and generate unlimited outputs and product descriptions into uh, Google Sheets. One cool use case for this might be if you have like a, a Shopify store or something or you're building a store really quickly then um, you don't have to go and write all your product descriptions you can automate generating the product descriptions uh, maybe that sell well uh, using your style or something after a few examples. Alright this was a fun example. Uh, thank you guys.